Hello all, welcome to Uncommon Geeks. Myself Vasant. I hope you all doing well. So it's a part two of my video on function currying. So in the part one, I had explained what is function currying, how it can be used in JavaScript. So in this video, I'll be discussing some questions that are generally asked in the interview on function currying. So if you have not watched my previous video and directly land on this video, I highly recommend please go ahead and watch that video so that you have an affair understanding about function currying. Then, then you'll be able to answer the questions asked in this video uh, very thoroughly. Okay. So without wasting further time, let's get started. The question is very straightforward. Okay. So what you have to do is, so you have to write a function called add, which basically uh, takes two arguments in this way and gives a sum. You already know how to do this in my previous video. The tricky part is the same question basically should behave the second way as well. So it should take an argument in a non, like a normal function call and it should return the sum. Okay. Looks uh, easy at the beginning, but unless you know the property of closure and normal function and little in depth of JavaScript, you will definitely will not be able to answer this question. This is a question that which, which was asked to me in my current company. And unfortunately, I was not able to answer fully. Uh, at, at, that, at, at that time. Okay, so I pick this so that all of you who, whomsoever get this question in the interview, you should be able to answer it and clear that interview. Okay, so uh, so whenever this question asked uh, for you in the interview, let me tell you how you approach it. So you have now a function uh, add that takes two arguments 10 and 20 in a closure manner and another function which same function basically should also take the arguments in a normal function manner which where there is no closure. Okay, so the important thing to observe here is, uh, let's say you uh, now you think something can be written and you start writing a function. So function add and what you will write here, what parameter you will take. So as soon as we encounter this line, right, which parameter you take, there itself will be stuck if you're solving it for the first time, correct? And if you're not sure of different aspects of JavaScript. So, and from here, I'll guarantee you will not go anywhere. You'll be just stuck here itself to, uh, I mean, what parameter to pass and what this takes. You'll never be able to solve this question. So thought process to be changed this way. So where we have two arguments here and we have one argument in the first function call. So, and we should have a two block inside the add function, which where one block handles the closure kind of a, a function calls and another block handles the normal function call. So now you got some some lights in your brain. Two things. One block handles the closure. Another block handles the normal function. So there has to be check. Correct. There should be a check to differentiate between the both. So which is a check? Argument is a check. Correct. So JavaScript has a property called arguments. Hmm? So if I run this. Uh, add function. So basically, it should take an argument. So let us simply write x. Let's see what happens. Man, for the this one, right? The function currying expect a function in a function because it is triggering, right? One inside another. Basically, this ten and then it want to trigger twenty. So it wants an expecting an inner function. So if I return that, what's happening? Let's see. In the first case, argument is ten. In the second case, argument is 10, 20. Okay. See, there are many ways. There could be a many ways to solve this question. I'm picking the approach of arguments and solving it. Okay. So if you know some better approach, feel free to solve that. I mean, write that in the comment section and tag me. Uh, if that is something that I think is performantly performance oriented also is good approach, then definitely I'll give a thumbs up to that. If not, you can follow this approach, whatever I'm writing. Okay. So now you know arguments in first case is 10 and second case is 20. So we can keep a check where if arguments dot length. So if it is greater than one, then we have like a normal function. If it is less than one, then we have like a closure. So what I do now is, so here I'll write return x plus y is something for the closure. Okay. And then what I'll do here is if argue, arguments dot length greater than one. Okay. Then I'll go to one block else. I'll go to this block. I already know, correct? Else I'll go to this block. So otherwise I'll be in the if block, correct? So inside the if block, what I do is I have to run the loop, correct? Because there could be any number of arguments. It cannot be just 10 and 20. That could be 30, 40, 50, correct? So till which I'll run the loop till arguments dot length. 
okay then what i do is con no no let sum is equals to zero and what i do here is sum plus is equals to sum plus arguments of i and you will return the sum here hope you understood what i did what i did is in line number 3 i created a fun, uh, variable called let sum which actually points to default value of 0 and i am running the loop till the arguments length and inside which i am summing the entire whatever the arguments are there that i am adding them okay i don't go too depth where i haven't kept an integer check what will happen if i pass a string here so those are the things that you do for your project for this purpose i know only these are the things that i'm calling so due to which i haven't kept lot of checks and what if let sum is equal to zero and this block fails and you it will become something undefined or not a number or zero is returned so those are the checks that you do in a project so this is an interview so where i know the input so due to which i'm just sticking into the inputs and and i'm writing the code okay um, so i'll running the loop till the end of this length then i am adding it and i'm returning if it's otherwise which is a closure then i'm going here let me log both and see whether the expected output we are getting or not okay add 10 comma 20 here and this inside this so the first one is actually without closure am i right um no this is with closure so second one is without closure second one is with out closure okay let me run this and see what we are getting so yeah yes so what we are getting is with closure we are getting 10 plus 20 as 30 without closure 10 comma 20 we are getting as 40 so we are doing some small mistake here so due to which uh, what is happening is we, we are getting 40 ideally 10 plus 20 is also 30 correct so let us see Uh, see, uh, frankly, even I haven't, haven't practiced this and come. The reason being, if I practice and come, I do not do, do make any mistakes, so that you will not be able to find out what mistakes are commonly made. So you made this mistake in the interview now, okay? Where the expectation was 30, but you are printing 40. So how you debug it? So the one way is first check. So here arguments is greater than length, greater than length one. So it is 10 and 20 coming into this block. Sum is initialized to zero. I is equal to zero. I less than arguments dot length. okay first probably you can start this debugging process by printing the arguments in this block okay so log the arguments see and very important thing do not keep logging because the more you time you log the interviewer starts thinking you are not confident about whatever you are doing okay so keep it very minimal but in this case at least you need to know what arguments are coming to identify the sum whatever is coming is right or wrong okay i'll do it so what i'm getting is uh arguments is coming 0 and 1 which is 10 comma 20 okay so which is correct so sum is 0 in the first place okay uh, then i is equal to 0 i less than arguments dot log length and i plus plus so arguments of 0 which is 10 and arguments of 1 which is 20 so 20 plus 10 should ideally become uh, 30 okay so what is happening we have to check maybe little further dig down and see here as well okay So arguments of zero, so sum is equal to sum. Okay, so what what mistake is very silly mistake. Either you should do sum is equal to sum plus arguments of i, or you should do sum like this sum plus argument of i. Correct. I mixed both. That is a mistake. So good that I had I did not practice and I was able to show you the small mistake which I made. Some interviewers will be very kind enough and they'll tell this is the mistake you did because when most of you are watching this video might also have noticed it. But whenever we are writing the code, we miss out those small small items. Okay. So uh, I had missed it and now let me execute and see. So both we are getting thirty. So with closure is also thirty. Without closure is also thirty. You also saw a common mistake that can be made in the interview, but there is no limit to it. As you know, you will not make a mistake which I did. Some or the other mistake you did, you do. But only advice of mine is do not get panic. See step by step. Okay, like I said, keep a minimal locks. The more locks, then the interview think you are not confident. Then start observing till where it is working fine. From where it is failing, 
then you will be able to identify the root cause and and execute see interviewer generally if, if you are not trying for mang or fang interviewer will not bother the how many runs you generally do or a small mistake that was made in the beginning and you correct it later these are the good qualities of a programmer none of us will be able to write and fully working code at the one stretch correct so one or two iterations interviewer will not mind uh, mang companies they have, they will they do mind but normal companies will not mind so be yeah, take your freedom and while writing itself run the code in your mind what is happening okay so that you will not make a silly mistake like i did so this is about this question the question number 1 where uh, is a same function that takes both function carrying and a normal function okay there is another question which generally with help of recursion you have to solve this that is like this add 10 comma 10 comma 20 comma 30 goes on basically okay 20 comma 30 any number of any 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 number of times you can do it followed by a empty bracket okay this has become again a very common question which is then asked in the interview where uh, a simple currying function simple function currying that takes infinite number of arguments okay so basically you have to use a recur recursion to solve this i have written this beautifully in my medium blog i step by step Uh, what is carrying and how to solve this problem so i'm not going to re explain that in my video i would highly advise that medium link whichever is in the description please go ahead and read there very step by step the entire code is also there you can copy and paste it on your favorite editor and practice okay these are the two question which i wanted to cover in function carrying others are i, do, I haven't seen any other uh, complicated question asked in this topic and if you are aware of the argument concept and the closure you should be good enough to answer all the carrying questions okay if you if you have some question that is in your mind and you are not able to answer please do mention that in comment section i'll try to make a video on it so thank you so much for watching uh, if you like my video please do like it on my youtube channel and uh, share it with your friends if you want them also to get benefited do not forget to subscribe to uncommon geeks please 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 subscribe to my channel uncommon geeks and if you want me to make a video on any particular topic please do mention that in comment section I'll, i'll try to make a video on that topic so and my github url is also there in this uh, description go uh, go to my github project download the project to practice all the questions give me a star for that project in in github to do follow me on github as well thank you again for watching catch you in next video